Hi everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will teach you how to bundle bodies and hairs with physics in Unity. I suggest you watch this tutorial from Ichigo on YouTube as well if you don't understand something from this tutorial. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one, and if you have any questions, join my Discord server. Me and Ichigo can help you there. Now let's get started. This is the website where we will install Unity 2017 from. The Unity version is 2017.4.40 F1. Now choose what OS you have. If you have Windows, click on Windows. If you have Mac OS, click on Mac OS. And if you have Linux, click on Linux. I have Windows, so I will click on Windows. Install it wherever you want. I usually do it on my desktop. I will create a separate folder for it, even though I already had one. Open it in your folder and double click on the setup. If anything pops up on your screen, press yes. Press next. Accept the terms and press next. Choose where you want to install it. And press finish. On the website, make an account or log in with your email and password. I already have one, but I suggest using an email and password because in the app, using Google or anything else to log in can be buggy sometimes. Log in here. If it logs you out and you can't log in again, try changing the password. Create a new project and name it however you want. This is how it will look. Make sure you have the FBX and texture or textures ready. Select them and drag them into Unity. Also drag the two bone files. They are in the description. And lastly, drag the effects folder and the essential folder. Drag the FBX under the directional light. Right click on the FBX and go to create and then to material. Name it however you want. Make sure you are on the Inspector tab right here. Select and drag the texture in the albedo square. Press on Standard and go to Tune. Choose the one you like. Drag the material on the FBX. This is how basic looks, and how basic looks in game. This is the basic outline tune. I recommend making the outline 0.002, and this is how basic outline looks in game. Now we will try Lit. This is how Lit looks. It will get affected by the shadows in game. Lastly, Lit Outline. Also make the outlines 0.002. This is Lit Outline in game. Now I will choose Basic Outline though. Create a new material for the glasses. Leave the shader as standard and make the rendering mode transparent, and drag the texture in the albedo square again. Press on this arrow and open the rig. We will work with the first bone. Select the dynamic bone and drag it on the first bone. Drag the first bone on the root and reference object. Make the damping 1, and the inert 0.85. Press on the play button, and then press on scene. Select your asset, and drag the arrows to see how it floats. Now if you want it to be flowier, make the inert lower. I will make it 0.34. This will be the result. Now to actually bundle it, select the main asset and drag it into the Assets tab. Click here, press on New and give it a name. And here press on New and type Unity 3D. Press on the Bundle button and select Bundle Asset Bundles. You will get all these files. Select this one, right-click and press Show in Explorer. 
Copy it, go to the Pose Mod folder, and paste it there. This text document will be in the description. Copy the command for hairs. Create a new text document and paste it there. A thing you have to add is Yan Hair Zero to make Ayano bald first. Before I continue with the video, I see some of you are not subscribed. You should check right now and see if you are subscribed because for some reason, YouTube could unsubscribe you. So please check it right now and don't forget to subscribe if you are not, where it says file name. Put the name of the asset you just bundled. Like this. Press on the main asset and copy the name. Paste it where it says name. And for the new name, give the asset a new name, whatever name you want. Select new name, hold the control key and press F to open the search bar. Press on the arrow and on the second line type the new name. Save the document. Open the pose mod menu and select your document. If you don't know how, watch my other tutorial on pose mod and how to make your OC with commands. This is how it looks with float physics. For the jiggle physics, I will choose this hair and I will drag all the files in Unity again. Drag the hair into this tab again. Create a new material and put the texture in the albedo square. Make the tune however you want. Drag it on the hair. Open the rig. We need only the first bone for both of the pigtails. Drag the dynamic bone on the first bone. Drag the bone on the root and reference object. Now make the damping zero, elasticity 0 0.168, stiffness 0 0.303, and inert 0 0.85. Press here and copy the component. Go to the other bone, press here and choose paste component as new. Drag the bone on the root and reference object. Press play, then on scene, select your asset and move it around to see how the physics look. Drag the asset in the Asset tab, name it however you want and make it a Unity 3D, and bundle it. Open this file in Explorer. Copy it and paste it in your Pose Mod folder. Copy the command for the hair again. For the file name, put the name you chose for the file. And for the name, put the original asset name. Where it says new name, hold control key and press F. Press on the little arrow and on the second line type how you want the asset to be renamed. Save the text document in your cutscenes folder in the pose mod folder. Open the game with pose mod and load the command. This is how it will look in game. And if you want to change the values, delete these files. Press on the bone and make the damping higher. Copy the value and paste it on the other bone. This is how it will look. I am not sure if what I am doing is correct. I used other tutorials to understand how to do this, and when I will learn more about bundling, I will make another tutorial. Bundle it like normal now. I think, to make it less jiggly, you will have to turn the elasticity down a bit. Now to bundle a body, drag the files in the Assets tab. Drag the important folders in too. Drag the body in this tab. Create as many materials as the asset needs. You can press on this arrow to see how many materials the asset needs. Now the process is the same. It is like bundling hairs. You create the materials, drag the texture into the albedo square, select the shader, drag the material on the asset, drag the asset in the assets tab, give it a name, make it a Unity 3D, and then you press bundle. Now after you bundled it, right-click on the file, press Show in Explorer, copy it and paste it in the Pose Mod folder. 
create the command and then load it in game. Where it says file name, you will have to put the name you gave to the Unity 3D file. Where it says name, you will have to put the original name of the asset. Where it says new name, you will have to put any name you want, basically how you want it to be called. And where it says mesh name, you will have to put the name of the mesh. To get that, go back to your Unity. Press on the little arrows to open the asset and press on those until one of them creates a box around the asset. That's the mesh. Copy the name. And paste it there. Save the document. Before you try it, make sure you add Yan Visible 2 to make the original body disappear. I almost forgot. And this is how it will look in game. Now, if for example, after you bundled the body, it looks like this, what you have to do is press on the asset, press on select and turn off use file scale, and then press apply and bundle it again normally. It will appear like this, very big. That was all for today's video. I really hope it was helpful and you understood how to bundle bodies and hairs. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one, and join my Discord server for more updates. When we will reach 17,000 subscribers, I will release the download link for the custom sake I posted in my shorts. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.